take a seat because class is in session for some of you. <laughs> I don't know why it completely slipped my mind that people were going back to school. Forgot. I haven't been in school in, oh my gosh, when did I graduate? When did I graduate? I didn't even graduate. I haven't been in school in, I want to say four years. I always remember this time of year being the funnest time of year because back to school meant back to school clothes shopping. We already know that I will have any excuse to shop, but I wanted to put together some really simple everyday back to school outfits. I was not the person dressing up for school every single day. I did have a full face of makeup on, but I was not dressing up. I was in leggings and comfy clothes. I was living in t-shirts and crew necks and just like really good basics. So I wanted to kind of do a good basics haul for back to school and style them and show you how to just make really cute outfits out of the best basics and just give you some ideas, I don't know. So I'm super excited that today's video is in collaboration, well, a portion of today's video is in collaboration with Fruit of the Loom. This holds a really special place in my heart because when I was younger, all of the clothes my mom bought me were Fruit of the Loom, and it was like, like such a big part of my childhood, and now I'm getting to work with them and show you guys all of their amazing basics that they have. What's amazing is that Fruit of the Loom is always working towards improving the sustainability of their products, the quality of their products. And the one thing I think of when I think of Fruit of the Loom is just like a really dependable, you can rely on them brand. Also, you can get 20% off and free shipping, which is great, which is great because they're already really affordable. Even if you're not going back to school, a lot of these are just great essentials to have in your wardrobe and they're pieces that you can all also layer if you're going to work and a lot of people are going back to the office. First thing I want to talk about are these socks. They're liner lightweight socks. These are the best for sneakers. Like I'm wearing these sneakers right now and you can't see them. I never thought I'd be sitting here showing you my underwear. And I'm at the age, okay, where I just want to be comfortable. Another thing Fruit of the Loom is really good for are their underwear. They're just like really affordable, high quality, good underwear. So they have full on like undies and I actually love sleeping in these and I like wearing these like under dresses. These are their seamless underwear and I know they look a little crazy but they're so comfortable and you cannot see the seam in anything. Their socks, their like undergarments are amazing and okay these, you guys, these hold such a special place in my heart. So if you go back all the way to my bougie on a budget video, my first one ever, I actually bought these and I love wearing them kind of like either with leggings or with a pair of sweatpants. These are even cuter. These are like actual little bra, like they look like little bra tank tops. So again, undershirts or if you wanna wear them with like a pair of leggings or sweatpants, I love the straps on these. And then I just got a ton of basics. So these, this is just a simple black t-shirt. You can tuck it into a pair of jeans. You can, you know, tie it in the front, wear it under a cardigan. And then I got the same one in a long sleeve version. And they really are extremely soft. They're not scratchy at all. They're like a nice thick material, but not too thick where they're it's like heavy and weighs you down. I got the same t-shirt in white. And you guys know I love a good waffle, waffly shirt, like a thermal. I, I just like in the winter time, they're my absolute favorite things to wear. And I love them so much that I also got them in a smaller size just for different fits. Like I said, so affordable. Then I just picked up the cutest pair of gray straight leg sweatpants. Then I picked up a pair of these beige sweatpants. It's the perfect beige, just the absolute comfiest sweatpants. And for this price, you can't beat it. This beige is such a nice tone of beige as well. Then I picked up this black basic zip Hoodie. I wear these all the time over a black on black outfit, like black leggings and a black t-shirt or black leggings and a black bra with a cute pair of sneakers, a bag, and you're good to go. And then I picked up the matching zip hoodie to the sweatpants. Are you kidding? This is like, I'm gonna be living this. I'm gonna be living in this every single day. Okay, so this is the first outfit. This is totally something I would wear to school or just to run around and do some errands. So I have the 
entire tracksuit on. The tone of the tracksuit is absolutely perfect. And then I have the little white tank top on or bra on, um, just has a little crop top. Then I just paired it with some sneakers. And then this is my new work bag and I totally can see myself having worn this to school. And here I kind of just turned it into a little bit of a cropped sweater. I just tucked it in to the little white tank top I have on underneath. Here I just have a simple white t-shirt tied in the front. I always like accentuating the smallest part of your waist so I always tie it. Um, for more casual looks I like a tied t-shirt. I just have on these beige sweatpants again. You could also go ahead and tuck it in. This is definitely a very casual, comfy outfit. And then this is the perfect base outfit to go ahead and layer on a jacket or a flannel on top because the tones are so neutral. When you don't know what to wear, throw on some good basics underneath and I always like throwing on a fun flannel or jacket or jacket. Okay, so one of my favorite bases to an outfit is a simple pair of biker shorts or if it gets colder, you could put leggings and an oversized black t-shirt. This one is nice because it is oversized. Well, I sized up to make it oversized, but it is longer but not too wide so I don't look like I'm drowning in it. And then you can layer a blazer, a jacket, or anything on top to take your outfit to the next level. Here I just threw on a blazer on top of the basic tee. And I also threw on some knee-high boots, which I've been loving, but you could also pair it with sneakers. And this would also look really cute in the colder months if you throw it on with some leggings and some chunky shoes. Similarly, I love pairing um, these bras with leggings and then using that as a base to any outfit. You can throw on a button up on top. Here is it with just a button up thrown on top. I feel like this is good for late September or early October when it's not too cold. And then here I just threw on a little bit of a brown houndstooth blazer, same exact base, and then I have my work bag, and then I paired it with these kind of slides. These are the sweatpants. I love that they're like a straight leg sweatpants. I just paired them with some slides and a little black jacket. I actually wanted to pair it with a leather jacket, but I can't find my leather jacket to save my life. Another super simple way to style these is with the white little bra top and then I threw on like a denim kind of jacket and paired it with some white sneakers. And then of course you have your classic everyday basic outfit. When in doubt, throw on a black long sleeve t-shirt or a white long sleeve t-shirt, a pair of jeans. I love darker jeans in the fall. And then I just threw on a cute pair of slides, but you could totally do sneakers. As you guys know, I'm trying to just create a wardrobe that I absolutely love and feel like I have something to wear every single day. And part of that is getting good basics. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below like what your style, like if you're going back to school, what your style is, what you wear every day. Are you like the dress up type? Do you like go comfy every day? Like I said, they're amazing. Their socks and then all of their underwear and everything. You just can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong. So I will leave them linked down below. Anyways, I reorganized my office and I am obsessed with it. It looks so much better. I just need to get a better light for in here. Actually, I love this light. I got it from HomeSense, but when the guy I hired to paint my house was like touching one of the balls. It accidentally broke, so I need to get a new one. And it's not like I could just order another one because I got it at HomeSense. Anyways, this is what the desk, the finished product looks like. Let me turn on the closet light. So this is what it looks like. It just feels so much better. My clothes and everything are in that corner. I just felt shoved in the corner there. But look at the back of this desk. I don't know what's going on. Honestly, I like this desk in this room. I like, I wouldn't even get a new desk. I like it. It's just what is going on with the back of this desk. It looks so unfinished. I guess it's supposed to be up against a wall. It's so ugly and when you you can see it and I know it's not really a big deal because I'm only the one seeing it but I, I really hate it. But I put this little stool here with my new tote bag, my work bag. I kind of cleaned up there and then I'm gonna go through this drawer because right now it just has all my old, ugh, and I need to clean this desk. Right now it has all my old makeup and I just don't need all of this. So I'm gonna go through it. And this has really inspired me to put my butt in gear, get my butt in gear and like sell all my clothes. 
these closets aren't full. <laughs> There's a whole wall of closets, but they're not full. Um, but a lot of this stuff I just don't really wear anymore, so I'm definitely gonna sell that. I just need to not find the time, I just need to stop being so lazy. Also, I didn't show you guys yet, but I did French glazed donut nails. And they look so good. So yeah, I think I'm going to quickly go on and see what desk options Ikea has. I really don't want to spend a fortune on a desk. Obviously, I'll need to get some better lighting. Um, not get, I just need to set up my lighting better. But I feel like this is going to be so much easier for me to film now. Just because I have a desk. Like if I have to do my makeup, if I have stuff, I can just set up my camera and film. Moving my house around always motivates me like it always makes me excited i'll take decor from other rooms put it in this room and it just makes me very excited i don't know if i mentioned this but sitting at a desk makes me so much more productive now i'm like excited to work but i do need a bigger desk this desk is like pretty tiny i think it's actually supposed to be like a console table or something a vanity i guess it worked well for a vanity but not for a desk <laughs> okay so i'm currently trying to find a desk still and i've come across the perfect solutions i wanted something that was big enough where like nikki and i can both work at oh my gosh where nikki and i can both both work at it i just couldn't find anything i found a few at rove concept i think it's called but they were so expensive and like not exactly what i wanted and shipping you never know these days like it could it says it, it's in stock but last time i ordered something that was in stock it literally would took two months to arrive then i was thinking what does ikea have and ikea i think i've had every desk from ikea if i wanted a white desk i would totally have just gotten one from ikea i think for the price you can't beat it but i didn't want that i wanted something to like add a little rusticness and a little character like if you see over there i have this little wood there this little wood frame and i just love how the wood brings warmth into the room my sister actually has a dining room table from ikea this one which is huge this table is like the like it does not look like it's from ikea the quality is so nice it's a real wood the color of the wood is so incredibly nice and then i was helping one of my close friends jesse redo her apartment and so i was on ikea and i saw they have a small version of this table so she got that she loves it like this is a hidden gem from ikea quality is unmatched so then I was like, well, why don't I just get this table? So this is the table I ended up going with. It's going to be delivered in two days. If I didn't have a dining room table, I absolutely love mine from Costco. I don't think I'll ever get rid of that table. I would have gotten this table because it is the quality is so nice. Ikea, I really wish would make more furniture that like i wish i had two price points one where it's super affordable and one where it's like more pieces like this where it's real wood and just higher quality and just looks a little bit better anyways i'm just rambling i feel like crazy today <laughs> i'm like all over the place i'm so happy i figured that out because i would have been stressing about that desk like when i get something on my mind it's so hard for me to get it out of my mind it's crazy how me deciding to put this desk in the middle of the room has now transformed into a complete office transformation i'm looking at new lights i'm looking at new chairs those aren't like in a rush but then i was like why don't we have curtains why don't i add curtains in here curtains make a room just look that much more put together why don't i just order some curtains from amazon so i have a swatch book the curtains from amazon are my favorite thing ever except i want this room to be like, light and airy so i don't know if i want to go for like a darker curtain i think that might be too much especially with the darker desk so i think i might just go with this snow white curtain literally just white because curtains even sand beige this one let me stand back and see just a little update i did not in fact go with snow white i went with ivory white um and i ordered all of the hardware for it on amazon as well i always get all of like my things to hang all my curtains on amazon these curtains though just be careful are extremely extremely heavy so make sure that when you do hang them you use really strong anchors and you use two of them because they're so heavy i'm not hanging as much but still i've had such issue issues hanging the ones downstairs guess what guys i haven't moved from my desk all day it's 11 40 
and I wish I could say that I was just sitting here being productive, but I wasn't. Do you ever have those days where the day just goes by? Like, sure, I was sitting here working and, you know, doing some things, but I didn't get anything basically done on my, any big things on my to-do list done. I'm going to try again tomorrow. I don't know if I was talking about this in this vlog or past vlog about ways to be more productive to guarantee that you're more productive plan your day the night before that way you wake up you already know what you need to get done Good morning you guys i don't know if you could tell a difference let me know in the comments below if you can see a difference between the quality yesterday and the quality now i have the sony camera and the quality is way better than the g7x which is what i normally vlog on it's just a little bit annoying um, to like cart around because it's not as compact and there's a whole microphone on the top But I feel like if it's better quality then I could just use this at home. I was up until 2 a.m Reading I had to finish the book. I was I think it was called reminders of him by Colleen Hoover You guys that book took me for a turn. It wasn't my favorite Colleen Hoover book I've ever read I still think November 9 was way like my number one However, it was like a twist and turny book that I just didn't see coming and it was a good book So I had to finish it. I knew I had to finish it last night If not today, it's all I would be thinking about so I stayed up until like almost 3 a.m Reading that book and that's why I can't really read that much because I get so wrapped into the world and and I need to know what's happening and it's crazy like when you're reading you really just don't think of anything else I also can't believe people are fully back in school it's just crazy to me I don't miss those days of being back in school of being like the stress of being starting school actually I really liked school not that I was necessarily always good at it because I wasn't I just tried really hard and like my whole life was consumed with studying I get asked all the time if I would ever go back to school to get a university degree and I think I would I definitely definitely would eventually I think I'm gonna go and finish my degree it's just right now I just don't have the time <laughs> like I could not even imagine I mean I'm sure I can make it work but something has got to give I had to give up school to pursue YouTube and CNC and if I hadn't given that up YouTube and CNC would not be where they are today because you have to give something up like you cannot put all of your time and attention into all these things in your life and expect them all to do amazing just like with cnc i had to give certain controls up that i didn't want to give up because i knew my strengths and my weaknesses in my business and i knew that in order for the cnc to grow i needed to get help and i needed to like let go of certain things that other people are better at doing as much as i like to say like you can do it all you can't i know a lot of people are probably like you should have stuck it out and got a degree and I could totally see that. I just really loved making YouTube videos and mind you, when I dropped out of school, I was making zero money on YouTube. I it was costing me money. CNC was successful, but again, I didn't have the time and I didn't have the time to put into it. So I was maybe making like a few hundred dollars a week off of CNC at the time. And I just believed in myself and I believed in my passion for like my passion for fashion not necessarily that but I just really started my YouTube channel like because I just loved it and I remember the day so clearly I was filming this video like eight ways to style a sweater dress which I, I should actually start doing those videos more I remember I was living with my mom at the time and I was filming this video I got so much joy out of it and I remember you guys loved the video at the time and I was like, this is what I want to be doing. So I told my mom, I think I'm going to take a semester off. That's how it always starts. I'm going to take a semester off. And she was like, go for it. And that's one thing that I always valued in my parents. They just always believed in me and my sister in whatever we wanted to do. They were supportive. I always get this message. I want to start a YouTube channel, but I'm scared. I want to start this business, but I'm scared. I want to start this, but my friends and family, I'm scared they're going to laugh at me. I want to do this, but my friends and family don't believe in me. And I'm just telling you, the only person that needs to believe in you is yourself. And if you have no one in your corner and no one is, like, believing in you, I believe in you. I, I believe in, every, like, anytime one of my friends tells me they want to start something, I'm like, go for it. Try it. What's the worst that could possibly happen? You fail? Okay. You move on, you get back up, you try something else, you go back to school. What was the worst thing that would happen? I would waste 
half a year of my life trying to do something I would probably learn a lot of lessons from it and then if it didn't work out I would go back to school or I would try something else and in that time like I just learned so much about myself and one thing I've always been really good at and I've spoken about this before is just being extremely confident in what I can accomplish and I'm not saying that in like oh I can do anything kind of way because I obviously can to do everything. I really believe that if you set your mind to something, it might be a little tricky, it might be a little tough, but if you set your mind to something, I truly believe that you can accomplish anything that you want to. And I think that the way you speak about it in your mind and the way you tell yourself and think about it is extremely, extremely important. You can't keep telling yourself that my business is not going to be successful. What if it fails? What if I lose money? What if I this? What if I that? You can't keep telling that to yourself because you're going to make it happen. You have to tell yourself that you're going to be successful. You have to tell yourself that you're going to make money. It might not come in a day, a month, or even a year but you have to tell yourself that it's going to work because if you're constantly telling yourself that oh I'm not good enough I'm not this you're going to make it happen it's going to be true I was talking to my therapist probably a year ago now and she was telling me that your mind doesn't know the difference between truth it, it just believes what it's told she said it a lot better than what I'm telling you now but if you're constantly telling yourself I'm gonna fail I'm not gonna be productive today I'm not successful I'm this I'm that I'm stupid you're gonna believe it and you might not inherently believe that you are extremely smart or successful or productive like for me that's a big thing but when you tell yourself enough you start to believe it and you start acting like that because like I said your brain just listens to what it's being told. And it's crazy because like your brain is making these thoughts and then it's listening to the thought. I don't understand it either. And every morning, if I'm not feeling super productive, I take a moment and I say, today's gonna be a very productive day. I go through, I list everything I'm going to do and it actually works. I'll ask her the next time I speak to her to like tell me it again so I can tell you. Anyways, that was too deep for right at this very moment. I just needed to tell you guys that because I always get DMs about it. And like starting a business, how did you start CNC? How did, I didn't know shit. I didn't know how to do anything with business. I was in business school, but I had no idea. I failed a lot. I (laughs) did a lot of research. I put in a lot of hours of work. It was not easy. I YouTubed everything. I spoke to friends and accountants and people, but I did not know anything. I still don't know anything like if I still am learning things every single day and I'm still failing and I'm still running into issues and that's okay and I guarantee you 98% of the world feels like that also and you're not alone and I'm just telling you that I, I, I every day I don't know I'm kind of just going through life <laughs> hoping it works out. And I'm okay with the idea that it might not work out, but I'm confident enough in myself that if it doesn't, things will be okay. And I think that's important. And I will leave you on the desk out and carried everything upstairs. It is very heavy. It definitely is. I think it's going to be a good size. I think it's going to be a good size. I honestly don't even think like once I put this together that this can come out of the room. I don't think it'll fit through the door. Let's see how long this takes to put together. Okay, the desk is made. I'm sitting at it. I love it. I'm going to show you guys the finished product in a sec. I'm just trying to take the sticker off the top of my laptop. I got this sticker, which like I loved at the time. Now it's just not really my style, but it's not hard to take off. Like It's not leaving residue. I think it's from a brand called Unique Find. I also had one for my phone. It's just like really stuck on there. It's been on there since I got my computer and I got that like three years ago. I think the desk is actually the perfect size. I'm very happy. Oh my gosh, this is really difficult. I definitely wanna go and get some more decor for like my desk or maybe the back, like switch the back up a little bit. But for now, I just like took things from around my house.
Okay, so this is the office. It's what it looks like from outside the door. And then once you come in, I'll show you guys a little bit better. Absolutely in love with how it looks now. I actually look forward to working and getting stuff done. Whereas before I like would just work at my kitchen table or my couch and I would I would kind of be unproductive because I would get distracted. This is what the final table looks like. I always have Nikki working with me, so she'll be able to work on the other side. Like I'll obviously move that off. And as a dining table it's absolutely perfect if I had to buy a dining table this is the exact one I would buy it's so sturdy so heavy this chair is from overstock I've had it for a really long time and then these two chairs on the other side are from article they're the same as my kitchen chairs and then this little stool is from home sense all of the decor is stuff that I had already so you know, I've, I just grabbed this from downstairs, but I am going to go to Winners and see if there's things that, like, more office-y kind of things I could put on my desk. But overall, I'm just really happy with the space. I also, like I said, bought curtains for there. Once that arrives, I think, like, the whole space will really come together. Last thing I'm going to change is the light because, obviously, it's broken, and I wanted something that hangs a little bit lower right over the desk, so I'll probably have to move the desk over so it actually hangs right on top of the desk. But I wanted something like a pendant light that comes a little bit lower. I think it will be really pretty. It has been an incredibly miserable past few days. Um, yesterday, I've had this cold for like going on three weeks now and it was tested negative for COVID. It was, I thought I was getting better and then it came back full force and ended up actually just getting worse. And so it it seems like it's going through phases. Like at first I had a sore throat, then I had a runny nose, then I had a cough, then I was going away, then it all came back. So I don't know if I like got sick with something else or what's going on, but yesterday, the night before, like the past two days, I've had the worst sore throat. Um, I asked you guys what to do and like some sore throat remedies on Instagram and I did some yesterday. I also just rested the whole day and today I don't feel 100%. Um, I, my nose is still a little bit blocked, but it's not blocked, but I'm a little congested. Um, but my throat doesn't hurt at all. Anyways, not the point of this. That's just me complaining. My curtains came in, so we're gonna hang them up. Curtains are like actually really easy to hang up. My absolute favorite curtains are from Amazon. I got this warm gold curtain rod from Amazon. It's a one inch curtain, curtain rod. Everything, all my curtain materials are from Amazon. Then, if I can get this open. Then, I got these warm gold curtain hook looking thingies and then this oh whoa 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 hold your horses this just arrived today it is my curtain okay I'm, I'll be back I'm gonna get everything ready and I'll show you guys the finished product with the curtains because oh, I can't wait it's gonna change the whole vibe of the room might not be the most exhilarating or entertaining content but I thought I would just teach you guys how to hang up a curtain rod, how to, how to hang up anything really, because it's just such, like, you don't, you don't want to have to be waiting around for, like, a handyman or a man when you can do something so easy yourself. So, when you buy a curtain rod, it comes with the things that you need to hang it on the wall. You have, like, the little wall bracket things. It comes with three. It's not that long. I don't know if it needs three, but the weight might tear it out of the wall if it's not properly supported. We'll see. So you have the brackets and then they give you the things you need to hang your your curtain rod with. But I don't like these. I don't find them strong enough. It's like these little wall anchors. I don't find them strong enough. My favorite wall anchors, the ones that I think are the best, are these ones right here. You can just get them at any like Home Depot. You're gonna need a drill. I just buy one on Amazon. Your pencil. You're gonna need a drill bit. I like drilling a hole in the wall before I put in my anchor. I just think it's a little bit easier. If not, the anchor goes all like crazy. And then you're also gonna need just like a regular drill thing to screw it into the wall. And that's all. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is mark where you want to hang the curtains and where these things need to go. This is like a really easy part but also really a not easy part because they have to be even. I measure exactly 
like four centimeters from the top, three centimeters from the end of the window. And you also want to put your curtains way higher than your actual window. It makes your ceiling look taller. Three inches from the ceiling. Great. Then you're going to take your drill. I prefer one that's plug-inable just because it has more power, I find, and you don't have to worry about it being charged. But the one that's with a battery, you don't have to worry about like having a power outlet nearby. Then you're just gonna drill into the two holes you made. Then you're gonna take your two anchors and switch your drill bit out for like a screwdriver bit. Then you take your two screws and you attach it through the hole. Then I just put the screws into the anchors and I'm going to do the same over there. Okay, so I hung them up on both sides and then I hung the bar up to make sure it's even. Everything looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and put the curtains on the little clips that I bought and then hang them up. Okay, so this is the finished product of the curtains. I actually ordered them a little bit too short. Well, okay, the issue is that if I ordered the next length, they would be too long, but I probably should have because now they're like, they're hung a little bit too short, but whatever, it's not the end of the world. You can't even really see it. So this is the finished office transformation. The, it's a little bit gloomy outside, so you can't see the whole thing. I hate when that light's on. It just doesn't look as good. We're gonna keep the light off. So this is everything. This little stool is the same. Got it from HomeSense. This is the desk. You guys have seen it. Love how this desk and all of the warmer tones I incorporated really create a warmer space and it really makes the room feel a lot more homey. We have the curtains that we hung up. I messed up with the length but you guys already know that we won't we won't look at that eventually i'll lower but look how beautiful not crazy expensive and then this is all the same you guys have already seen my update on this closet and then over here is all my new and stuff things that i have to remember to film or to wear my shoes and then um oh i kind of changed this around a little bit so in here I have all of my blazers and my shirts and then in these closets here I keep my lighting for filming and then some of my extra dresses summer dresses longer dresses and then on this side I have some sweaters and some shirts and then in the bottom here I have like bathing suits and some extra stuff not really that organized okay so I think that's it for today's video um, it was a little office transformation nothing crazy the next projects we have going on I think I spoke about it in the last vlog I posted are my bedroom and my living room so if you haven't seen that make sure to check it out thank you guys so much for watching I'll leave anything like the table and all of the fruit of the loom stuff linked down below as well thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week I love you and I'll see you guys back here next time